Now here we are going to talk about the grep. Grep is called as a global regular expressions or sometimes they are also called as a general regular expressions. Means all the particular expressions we can use to find out anything globally or anything into the Linux operating system. So wherever the file is located, wherever the text is located, we can find by just using the grep command. So grep command is generally globally search for your regular expressions generally you have. Grep command is used to search a particular text completely into the Linux operating system or you can search the given file from the lines contained which is matching to your strings or words. For example, now if I want to search for a particular string into my file, I can also use using the grep command. Grep command can also be used for searching for a file starting with particular word. For example, I want to check all the particular file which is started with test name, test1, test2, test3, any particular file which is started with the test name, I can also get it to the search by using by grep command. So syntax of using the grep command is grep and the options we can define. There are several options we have which we can check by using the man pages. Then the pattern, what exactly we are going to search for into a file that we can add by using the grep command. So grep is a just a search command where you can search this particular text or a file globally into the Linux operating system. So this is what the grep is. Let us see how we can use this grep command into our Linux console. So we can check for uh, the files which we have as we are going to use the grep command. I should have one of the file which contains the name with fruit. Okay, so I am going to target this file and I want to check for whether we have apple in this file. So it's showing you I have apple written three times under the file. So it is finding the you know content into the file, right? Same way if I want to check for any particular package or any particular package which I have installed. So generally the command is for RPM and uh, hyphen A. I'll use pipe sign grep or I can also use query all that is QA and grep and I can find out the package name so if suppose the package name is related to something like NFS so I can check it will show you all the packages which are having the NFS into it right same way if I want to check for the uh, particular package which contains mm, any particular file uh, for example I want to, to check the crypt in any of the file like my fruit file so I can check for it so there is no crypts but if I want to check whether it is containing any particular food name with cherry so it will show me the cherry so same way generally search for uh, a particular word into a directory like also you have seen like when I have used the grep pse command right so that time it will show you all the particular processes but if i want to search for a particular process now for example i want to search for a particular process like grep or um, bash processes so i can just search bash into the file you can show see this is the file which contains the bash so generally grep was uh, a tool which generally we use for finding for something like so grep can be used anywhere, you know, for finding the packages, for, you know, filtering a particular process and giving you the output, which process it contains, where it contains, what the content you have added in the file. You can also search from the file itself, you know, you do not have to move into the file. Just where the list is there for the file, you can check for the, uh, the name of the file or the word which we have written in the file. This is what the grep is and how it generally works. You have many parameters even for the grep, you can check by using man grep so you have many uh, parameters many options for looking at the grep you can also check for the line numbers you can also check for the uh, you know different colors different uh, many things right so you can check for all the parameters of the grep so basically it is used for finding purpose you can find and uh, you know filter your data from a particular file or overall from the file systems so this is what the grep is. This is how generally we use the grep. In the next video, we are going to talk about how we are going to find a file. So here we are searching for a word. But how 
we are going to file the file and files which we have located somewhere and if I forgot where I have saved my file so for that keep watching the next video